Right, what's this? Oh my god, another AI tool. I am so <laughs> trying to cover all these AI tools, it's too difficult. So Microsoft 365 have a new experience. It's called Copilot. We'll get an overview of what it is today. And then I'm probably gonna go and have a much earned nap. So for those who, let me just take my coat off. So for those who did not see, um, essentially Google uh, Workspace introduced at. So for those who didn't see, Google Workspace introduced some AI yesterday. I have a separate video on that that will be coming very, very soon. Um, and essentially, We've seen Microsoft play very hard so far with Microsoft Teams developing at a pretty rapid rate, replacing technology inside of there with OpenAI in their partnership. But today they're introducing something called Microsoft 365 Copilot. And I'm going to sort of try and summarize what it's going to be trying to do. Um, so essentially what this is trying to do is combine the power of LMMs, uh, which is lang large language, models and all of your data in the Microsoft Graft, including calendars, emails, chats, documents, and meetings. And it's doing a few interesting things here. So primarily what it's going to be doing is working alongside you. Microsoft have been playing around with this experience with GitHub Copilot, with apparently people saying it's 88% more productive. Well, essentially Copilot will work alongside the experience helping to generate outputs, but in particular working with the documents and experiences you already have inside your experience. So for example, Word documents, it can work inside of there, helping you to craft those and being able to take data in from Excel and things like that. Also, they're weaving this into PowerPoint and uh, the Nitro likes of Outlook as well. But what's really interesting is Copilot is sort of available at an app mention which naturally they'll start generating stuff from uh, the instantaneous, which is really interesting. They're also weaving this into Copilot in Teams and also in business chat. I don't really want to talk much more about this because there are some videos that sort of demonstrate this so well uh, in terms of what it can actually do. And apparently Copilot is also going to be available in Viva Engage as well, allowing you to essentially join the conversation uh, instead of, um, Wow, okay. So it's gonna be able to help you craft and refine posts as well on topics and conversations. And that's quite an interesting um, be able to, wow. It actually prompts what readers are actually gonna be setting up and, and bringing out. So this is really interesting. You're probably wondering, how do I get this? Well, apparently they're currently testing um, 365 with 20 customers that are all enterprise. So naturally, um, they are rolling this out. Um, it doesn't actually say there'll be more details on pricing and um, details around that in coming months. So really interesting to see where this is going to go. To be honest, this seems like a direct um, speedy introduction because Google Workspace introduced that stuff yesterday. It seems like quite fast and, and, and sort of powerful. I mean, GitHub, uh, Copilot, I'm no developer, but apparently people have been experiencing good stuff from it. Um, and naturally, I just want to bring this into the Microsoft 365 ecosystem. So really interesting. Copilot, your new assistant at work. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and do more AI features, <laughs> but it's so much these days. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed today's overview. Hopefully give you a little bit of a sneak peek of what Microsoft are doing with Copilot. You can find the link in descriptions and everything else there. My name is Francesco Glessio and you've been watching Keep Productive. So do make sure to subscribe here on YouTube and I'll see you all very soon. Cheerio.